Please swim. Thank you very much, Maya, for your kind introduction and for inviting me here. Uh, this bridge uh, uh, symbolizes both the journey of the cancer patient, but uh, it's also um, a symbol of our aim to overbridge the problems the cancer patients have. Um, the coin have two sides, and uh, the, the one side is uh, the health checkup. The reason for attending uh, a screening invitation is not to have a cancer diagnosed, but to have health confirmed. But health, conf health confirmation is not the task of the, of the health authorities, but to have a strategy to find the cancer in a curable phase. So I, I, sorry, I see screening as a sieve where you pour the entire population through this sieve. So you have to control the bucket, the whole population and uh, where all the cancers are, and also to control the, the, the sieve. So, um, um, not all the cancer cases go through or um, a lot of, of healthy people will, uh, will not pass through. And uh, it's also a, a picture that, um, that uh, shows that it, it shouldn't be too shaky. I mean, when you put the sand through the side, uh, you, sh you shouldn't put too much aside of the side. Uh, everything goes back to the WHO screening criteria. You might not know that uh, the Jungner author was a Swede, and I'm very proud because his brother gave me this book. <laughs> so, um, but uh, there are, um, this represents a sort of process. We need to have a problem first. And as an oncologist, I think it's, uh, it's good to remind ourselves that cancer is a lethal disease. And, and if no one would die of cancer, we wouldn't be here today. <laughs> but cancer is a serious disease, and uh, many cancer sites have preclinical phases possible to find. And um, uh, you, are, you are all aware of, of these criteria. Uh, but I, I would like to point um, that uh, we always have to, to update ourselves and our program. For example, it, it has to be accepted by the target group. It doesn't mean that it has to be accepted only when you start a program. It has to be accepted 10 years later and, and 25 years later. And today, uh, women are not... Uh, uh, as, uh, uh, well, young people do not accept what old people would have accepted 20 years ago. So, for example, we have to be in the forefront of, of uh, using IT technology uh, to send SM, uh, text message reminders to uh, have people... Um, um, rebooking on the internet. Uh, we have to be aware of the environment and uh, let people have um, email invitations instead of, of, um, of letters. Uh, this is a list uh, you will find in the uh, Elspeth Lynge uh, document that Larry um, already mentioned. So I will just point on a few things. And when you prepare a screening program, it's very good to employ uh, a coordinator, someone who is responsible for both the building up of the program, to establish relations with healthcare professionals, and also to be responsible for the program. That kind of person needs to be an expert both in the subject, I mean the cancer site um, that is um, screened for, but also need to know the, uh, how, uh, the political organization, since screening is uh, a political issue. Uh, uh, I would also like to uh, uh, point on the need of contracts. Uh, 
uh, it's a, a, a very good way to to have healthcare professionals doing what we what we ask them to do is to uh, uh, not only have the goodwill but also have a contract that regulates with money if you are not doing we won't pay you that always work um, i would also like to point on on the need of already before starting a program to have a plan how to evaluate your program. Uh, when we started breast cancer screening in, in Stockholm, a journalist asked, how many lives will you save? And uh, I think it's very important when the politicians decide that yes, we will finance your program, that you also give them back a receipt. Yes, we managed. To, to save the lives we aim to save. Um, uh, I think it's important not just to see screening as a test, but an entire process. And uh, uh, it's uh, it, it, not, not all doctors are experts in cancer, and if, if people if patients see the GPs, not all GPs are sex experts, but if a majority goes through this, a screening program, they enter into the same door and you can have um, uh, optimal care for all of them. It's possible to steer, it's possible to uh, implement uh, guidelines. It's more cost effective and it has been mentioned earlier that it's more equal also. Uh, uh, you, ha you will have one chance. If you set up a bad program, it's more or less impossible to change at a later stage. So, um, this is a, just an example of a, of a breast screening process, and I, I won't go into detail. Um, I, I managed to find the, the picture up there, which is the first uh, breast radiology made ever and that was 1913 so the test mammography is not that new it's in fact 100 years old but it's still the best and only validated test for for early detection of breast cancer this is an example of a process for colorectal cancer screening um, we use in in Stockholm and in a way, it's, it's a machine. It's an IT system that runs um, the entire um, uh, program. We have one nurse who managed to coordinate all these things. Uh, and the population we invite is uh, a quarter of a million. So it's uh, rather cost effective. Uh, we have some good experiences. Um, one is that also I, as a coordinator, should have a contract with, with the politicians. Uh, so uh, my job is regulated. And one of the most important things in that contract is that all people who, sh uh, who should be invited must be invited. And it means that I have the task to invite 100% of the target group. We also have a quality board, uh, which consists of all who are in any way uh, involved in the program, and we meet uh, regularly two times a year, where we check all the data and we can adjust if there are problems. Um, I have already mentioned that we use nurses in many levels, and uh, we also have contact nurses that can help the patients through their journey. Uh, uh, we have also monitored everything since start, and that's extremely important, because that allows you to uh, uh, at least try to answer the questions. Uh, speaking about evaluation, uh, I, th I think it's important uh, not just to start a program and have, have it run smoothly. You, you also need to 
to know whether it was effective or not. And when, when we talk about effectiveness, it's um, if, if we were able to, uh, to reduce mortality. The left curve shows the effect of the breast screening program in Stockholm, and it's the accumulated number of, of breast cancer deaths among those who had their breast cancer diagnosed after the introduction of of, uh, of the screening program, and it shows that 31% less cancers, uh, cancer cases died during that period. If you take into account the women that came, the uh, mortality reduction in that selected group uh, was uh, even more than 50%, which also stresses the importance of having a high compliance to your program. Being the coordinator, uh, uh, it's important to have direct contact with the dec uh, decision makers, but also to those who deliver the, uh, the screening tests. And it's, it's a, 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 a bad scenario if uh, if there are direct contacts with the healthcare providers and the pol uh, politicians or the decision makers, um, um, because there will always be those who lobby for their new test. And um, so that's important. Finally, um, how to manage with, uh, with the screening program? Well, everything is in this book. Unless you know that you know better, you, this is the gold standard. I think it's important to, uh, to come to agreement with your colleagues. Uh, so we speak with one voice to the politicians. That's the only way of having the politicians doing what, what we would like them to do. So that's my recipe read the cookbook, and uh, come to consensus with the, your colleagues. Thank you very much.